important do you think is it for the country to have more than just two families in the White House? Well, look, here's a great thing. I think voters get to decide. I think voters, my sense from Republican voters at least, and I'll speak to Republican voters, uh, is that they don't want their candidate hand-selected for them. They don't want the establishment. They don't want donors. They don't want the media, no offense. They don't want the media or anybody else picking their candidate for them. And that's a great thing. That doesn't mean they're disqualifying anybody, or that doesn't mean that they're automatically picking anybody. I think that voters in the Republican side especially have waited a long time for this election. They're very eager to have a conservative or Republican in the White House. I think you're going to see them kick the tires. I think you're going to see them ask tough questions. I think you're going to see them want to meet the candidates. And I think it's going to take them a while to do that. I think that's a good thing. So. I know democracy is messy. I know there are leaders in my own party that don't like the, the debates and they don't like the fact there are so many candidates thinking about running. I think it's great. I think voters will get to go vote for somebody, not against somebody. So I don't think anybody's qualified or disqualified because of their last name. I think voters get to decide. I do think what voters will react very strongly against is any idea of the leaders trying to clear the field, trying to handpick a candidate. I think, I think voters want to decide for themselves. I think it's way too early for them to start winning down this field. I think they want to go and, and see and, and road test these candidates. And I think that's a good thing. And thank you, you guys very much. Yourself. Guys, do you consider yourself part of an earlier generation from Hillary Clinton, from George Bush? You know, it's very kind for you to say that because my kids think I'm ancient. I, I've got kids that look at me, and, and I'll tell you two things they say. They say, one, Daddy, if I don't shave, my beard comes in fairly gray. And I remind them I didn't have gray hair before I had kids. And so I blame that on them. Secondly, they made the, mis uh, the, the unfortunate comment when my wife turned 40 a few years ago, my little girl, who is now all of 13, said, Mommy, you were born in the last century, which is not at all what anybody wants to hear when they turn 40. <laughs> Look, I, I think that folks try to, to divide candidates or individuals. At the end of the day, voters are going to decide. I think voters are going to look at a candidate's uh, experience. They're going to look at their ideas, their policies. I think what's most important, I know there are a lot of superficial uh, traits that people try to divide candidates by or try to pick candidates by. I think voters, the real voters, the American people, know this is an election that's more important than one-liners, than TV ads and giving a good speech. This is a substantive election about the future of our country. In the 90s, we maybe mistakenly thought we were taking a vacation from history. It turns out it wasn't true. But that was a time of relative peace and prosperity. And so I think for a while, people thought maybe elections weren't uh, that consequential and it could be about less serious things. I don't think people think, and it wasn't true in retrospect, even then. It's 